Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm at Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Ah, my poor head. Ah. Close. Oh, right. Now, where did I put the key? Here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? I can't even reach the door handle. Hardy ha ha. What a hilarious prank, Joseph. If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Let's try this way. Another letter?
ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? Stay calm. Let's find Jazz and then move on from there. All right, huh? Focus. You don't want to fall from this high up. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? Alma Wister. Ah, made it. And sticky, oh. Although, this liquid should help me climb up. What in the...
this? Who are you? You called? Yes, Anna should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious. How well? Uh, we are simply acquaintances. <coughs> but why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? Why would she be in trouble? I don't know. You come in. Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? No. No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. I have to call Miss Grubach. Why do you need Miss Grubach? You just keep asking questions, don't you? Well, listen, you don't deny anything and you don't affirm anything. You just stand there and stare at me. What's your name and your function? Why do you need to know my name? Actually, you're right. I don't want to know your name. Why am I even speaking to you? Miss Grubach! She cannot come at this time. Oh, she can come at this time. It's her apartment after all. How long have you been living here? Long enough. But this situation is new to me. I won't say another word until I see the supervisor.
Nothing happens by itself, Mr. K. Oh, give me a break. You seem to have an answer for everything. Because there is a reason for everything. Oh, like your visit today? Exactly. So, who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't Franz tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No, you can't leave. You are arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay, I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kay, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Kay. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. 
We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. <laughs> You're okay? Oh my god! It's okay now. I almost had a heart attack. Uh, your breakfast is treacherous. How would I know? I didn't make it. Anyway, I'm fine now. So, where were we? Tell me then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are on the way, and you'll be told <laughs> everything, all in good time. I'm already breaking the oh rules being so I can fight with you. I hope that only Franz can hear this. He too is much more polite than me. Quite frankly, if your luck with the guards continues, you have nothing to fear. Tell me, people, let's keep a peace and honor. Whatever authority brings you the light, is this not a country of law and order? This must be all in yes. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke for my colleagues at the bank. I assure you, it's no joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we... The guardians of the law are sent out. That's the law. So where would there be any mistake? I don't know this law. All the worse for you, then. I think it's a law which is existing only in your head. But you are to feel its long arm. <laughs> I'm making a big mistake. Well, and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you can drop them, but unlike you, they are still free. And I have no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor, as soon as he asks it. Not before. In the meantime, with matters of no importance. Stay focused.
Thank you. 